software engineering lecture 3.1 today lecture is about software development life cycle and uh, we will discuss classical waterfall model the classical waterfall model is a structure sequential model that divide software development into predefined phases each phase must be completed before the next phase can begin with no overlap between the phases each phase is designed for performing specific activities during the sdlc phase earlier this model was very popular but nowadays it is not used however it is very important because all the other software development life cycle model are based on the classical waterfall model phases of sdl waterfall model requirement gathering stage during this phase detailed requirement of the software system to be developed are gathered from the client design stage plan the programming language for example java php dot net uh, database like oracle MySQL, etc., or other high-level technical details of the project. Built stage. After the design stage is the built stage, which is nothing but coding the software. Test stage. In this phase, you test the software to verify that is built as per the specification given by the client. Development stage. Deploy the application in the respective environment. Maintenance stage, once your system is ready to use, you may later be required to change the code as per customer request. Feasibility study. The primary objective of this phase is to assess the financial and technical viability of developing the software. It entails conducting a feasibility study to comprehend the problem and explore potential solution these solutions are evaluated based on their advantages and disadvantages and the most favorable one is selected to guide the subsequent phase of development requirement analysis and specification the requirement analysis and specification phase involves gathering and analyzing software requirement from the customer the goal is to ensure completeness and consistency in the collected requirement. One analyze these requirements are documented in a software requirement specification, SRS document, serving as a contract between the development team and customers. Design. This phase focus on transforming the requirement specified in the software requirement specification SRS into the form that can be implemented in a programming lang language. It involves both high level and detailed design activities to est establish the software's architecture and structure. The outcome of this phase are documented in a software design document SDD. Coding and unit testing. In the coding phase, the software design is translated into software code using a suitable programming language with each design model being coded accordingly. Subsequently, the unit uh, test phase verifies the functionality of each module to ensure they are working correctly. Integration and system testing. In the integration phase, modules are added incrementally after coding and unit testing. Once all models are successfully integrated and tested, the entire system is tested as a whole. System testing comprises alpha testing, conducting by the development team to ensure system functionality, beta testing, performed by a select group of friendly customers to identify user, acceptance testing, carried out by the customer after software delivery to determine acceptance or rejection based on requirement fulfillment. Maintenance is a crucial phase in the software life cycle consuming 60% of the total development efforts. There are three types of maintenance. Corrective maintenance. This address error not detected during development. Prefective 
maintenance enhancement based on a customer request adaptive maintenance required for a porting software to new environments like different platforms or uh, operating systems feature of the sdlc water wall model sequential approach the waterfall model involves a sequential approach to software development where each phase of the project is completed before moving on to next one document driven the waterfall model relies heavily on documentation to ensure that our the project is well defined and the project team is working toward a clear set of goals quality control the waterfall model places a high emphasis on quality control and testing at each phase of this project to ensure that the final product meets the requirement and expectation of the stakeholders rigorous planning the waterfall model involves a rigorous planning process where the project scope timeline and deliverables are carefully defined and monitored throughout the project life cycle importance of sdl waterfall model clarity and simplicity the linear form of the waterfall model offers a simple and ambiguous foundation for project development clearly defined phases the waterfall models phase each have unique input and output guaranteeing a planned development with obvious check post point documentation a focus on thorough uh, documentation help with software comprehension uh, upkeep and future growth stability in requirement suitability for project when requirements are clear and steady reducing notification modification as the project progresses resource optimization it encourages effective task focused work without continuously changing context by allocating resources according to the project phases relevant for small projects economical for modest project with simple specification and minimal complexity advantages of the sdl waterfall model the classical waterfall model is an idealistic model for software development it is very simple so it can be considered the basis of other software development life cycle models below are some major advantages of this sclc model easy to understand the classical waterfall model is very simple and easy to understand individual processing phases in the classical water uh, fall model are processed one at a time properly defined in the classical waterfall model each stage in the model is clearly defined clear milestones the classical waterfall model has very clear and well understood milestones properly documented processes actions and results are very well documented reinforces good habits the classical waterfall model reinforces good habits like define before design and design before code working the classical waterfall model works well for smaller projects and projects where requirements are well understood this advantages of the sdl waterfall model The classical waterfall model suffers from the various shortcoming. We can't use in it in real projects, but we use other software development life cycle model which are based on the classical waterfall model. Below are some drawbacks of this model. No feedback path. In the classical waterfall model, evaluation of software from one phase to another phase is like a waterfall. it assumes that no error is over committed by developers during any phase therefore it does not incorporate any mechanism for error correction default to accommodate change request the model assumes that all the customer requirements can be completely and correctly defined 
at the beginning of the project but the customer's requirement keep on changing with time it is difficult to accommodate any change request after the requirement specification phase is complete no ever overlapping of phases this model recommends that a new phase can start only after the completion of the previous phase but in real project this cannot be mentioned to increase efficiency and reduce cost phases may overlap limited flexibility the waterfall model uh, is a rigid and a linear approach to software development which means that it is not well suited for project with changing or uncertain requirements once a phase has been completed it is difficult to make changes or go back on previous phase when to use the sdl waterfall model the waterfall approach involves little client engagement in the product development process the project can only be shown to end consumer when it is ready here are some cases where the use of waterfall model is best suited well understood requirement before beginning development there are reliable uh, precise and thoroughly documented requirements available very little change expected during involve uh, development very little adjustment or expansion to the project scopes are anticipated small to medium size project ideal for more manageable project with a clear development path and little complexity predictable projects that are predictable low risk and uh, able to address early in the development life cycle are those that known controllable risk Regu uh, regulatory compliance in critical circumstances in which paperwork is of utmost importance and strangest regulatory compliance is required client prefer a linear and sequential approach this situation describe the client's preference for a linear and sequential approach to project development limited resources projects with limited resources can benefit from a setup st strategy which enable targeting resource allocation application of sdl waterfall models large scale software development projects uh, the waterfall model is often used for large scale model development projects where the structure and sequential approach is necessary to ensure that projects is completed on time and within budget safety critical system the waterfall model is often used in the development of safety critical system such as aerospace or medical system where the consequence of errors or defects can be severe government and defense project the waterfall model is also commonly used in government and defense project where a rigorous and structured approach is necessary to ensure that the project meets all requirement and is delivered on time project with well defined requirement the waterfall model is the best suited for project with well defined requirement as the sequential nature of the model requires a clear understanding of the project objective and scope project with stable requirements the waterfall model is also well suited for project with stable requirement as the linear nature of the model does not allow for changes to be made once a phase has been completed example of the waterfall model earlier it was used for applications such as human resource management supply chain management customer relation management or retail chains etc 
but now in the present time the waterfall models are replaced by other models such as iterative models and agile methodology. Waterfall approach uh, cost. In waterfall approach cost, the cost of specification, design, implementation and integration are measured separately. Notice that system integration and testing is more expensive development activity. Normally this is about 40% of the total development cost but for the some critical system it is likely to be um, at least 50% of the system development. Small developments for a small development issue only need the following step typically done for programs for internal use but for large development system requirement identify select and documents functional scheduling and financial requirements software uh, requirements are sim simply identify select and document to software feature necessary to satisfy with system requirements analysis methodology work through the detail of each requirement program design use programming techniques to design software and hardware within the constraint and objective set in the earlier stages coding implement the program as designed in the earlier stages testing uh, testing test the software and record the results operations deliver install and configuration the completed software there is a another summary and uh, you can see there are right side seven waterfall uh, phases on the other side six so some uh, is uh, mix them and uh, merge them the phases so that's why thank you very much